short December favorites for you. I don't normally do a December favorites. I normally just kind of skip right over that and do my 2015 favorites. But I had a couple things that I just really wanted to mention this that I was loving this past month. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And there was one thing that I didn't love. Um, so we're going to talk about that and then we <laughs> we'll move on to some positive things. So I had heard a lot about this from a lot of people. And this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder. So it's a dry shampoo, but it's in a powder form. It has a little bit of a hole at the top there. So I will say part of the reason that I don't love this is that it isn't in an, in an aerosol, but I was really trying to kind of work around that and see. The The issue for me is that I generally go two days and that's it. I can't, I, I don't like to go more than two days without washing my hair. Um, and this says, by the way, that it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. Absolutely adds a little bit of volume. I don't feel, I feel like that's all it does for me. I don't feel like it takes away any of the little bit of oil that I get at my scalp. And I don't, I, let's just be very real and honest, I feel like it makes my hair smell. Like all of the other dry shampoos make my hair fresh. And this one, not so much. So I know I have a friend that really loves this and I've already contacted her. I'm going to send this off to her so she can enjoy that. But for me, the Preta Powder was a fail. So, all right, let's move on to some positive things. And I just recently talked about this. Did a I did a um, four looks one pal or one quad with this, and I just want to give this a mention one more time because it is holiday. So I'm assuming if it's not so loud, it might be. But you could look for it if you were interested in it. And that is the Chanel quad. I've been told a couple how to say this a couple of different ways. So, Signe, 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 um, Particulaire. Okay, I'll have it listed below. But those are the shades. It's like I said when I did the review on this. It's been a long time. I also did uh, two. I uh, did a get ready with me two different looks in one video for this. So I'll link all that below. But it's been a long time since I've really been like wowed and excited <laughs> about a quad. And this one really did that for me. So I just wanted to say that for December, this absolutely was a favorite. I wore this quite a bunch, quite a bunch. Okay, I have one other eyeshadow thing, and this actually surprised me. I'm gonna grab the other one here as well. The I have two of these Merle Norman Brilliant Dimension shadows. I have the one in Get Toasty and the one in City Lights. These stay really well. Most of these sort of shades, most of these short sort of shadows will tend to crease on me, but these these do not. I bought these from the Merle Norman in Madison. I just called and ordered them through that through that store through Sarah from Print Polish and Shine. She works she works there. Um, and this one is the one City Lights. And I just, really, like I said, I was really impressed. The The other thing that I have to show you, one of the other things I have to show you for my favorites um, is an eyeshadow as well. I, in December, just because of, we all have so much going on, I was really doing a lot of very, you know, when I wasn't working with this, I was doing a lot of very simple eyes. And so these two worked so well into my sort of simple eye. In my Mascara Madness, the first the first look that I had in that, I was wearing the one in Get Toasty, and a lot of you guys really liked that. So they definitely were a favorite. Um, I'm just going to give this a quick mention because the video that went up on the 17th, which is my 2016 Use It Up, um, that kind of caused me to be working really, again, in some of the products I'm using up. Okay, so the point of this is... I've, and I'm wearing this today, I don't know how many times I've worn this because I was getting ready to film that video, it went up on the 17th, so it was early in December that I was already thinking about this, and it was early in December that I was already crazy busy and not really wanting to think about what eye look I was putting on and just throwing something on, and something that would last a long time. So, this is the Bad to the Bronze, um, for uh, the color tattoo from Maybelline, and then over the top of that, which is what I have on my eyes, is Nutty, um, from Went Wild, and... I've gone through one of these already, but this is on my list to try to hit pan on this year, which is not going to be difficult. Um, I just have re-fallen in love with that shade. And on my eyes, you know what, I'll zoom you in quickly. All right, so here is what it looks like. Do my normal little thing that I do. The other shade that I have on there is Columbia. Um, by Cargo. So what I love about that is A, the longevity that that combo gives me. Um, B, it's just easy. I can do it without even thinking. I have a little wedge in the crease as well, by the way, um, by MAC. 
And then, um, and see, it's it's neutral. It goes with anything. I can wear it with just about any blush, any lip, any anything. So I, I just really, I have fallen back in love kind of with that combo, which is a good thing because it's on my list to use it. All right, the last makeup thing that I have is this, um, and this was sent to me by Alex from Monsieur Alex, and this is the... Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil. I've not tried it on my cheeks yet. I don't know that I will. <laughs> I don't really, I don't love cream products on my cheeks. Anyway. Uh, and it's in the shade Mystic. And that's what I'm wearing today. This is just the perfect go-to. I don't know what they claim that the that the finish is. But I feel like it's a, like a satin finish. So you can leave it as is. You can put a gloss over the top of it. The longevity on this is really good. One of the things that I really like about it. I can put it on without even thinking about it. I just really, I really, really like this. It's definitely a, ready for it, say it with me, your lips but better shade. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so thank you again to Alex for that. And I, I, I actually, I will do the video that I that we ta I talked about in the haul because a lot of you wanted to see it. There are a couple other nude sticks that I want to get first. I will get those, work through those, and then maybe a month or two, something like that. Then I'll do um, a video with, with the nude sticks. All right. Lastly, completely random. This is um, my favorite cream of the month. I feel like I could probably have a favorite cream of the month. No, that's not true. Only during the holidays do I generally kind of branch out and try other creams. Most of the time I just use the, the Italian sweet cream. But this is the gingerbread. So Melissa Parada was talking about this in her vlog. And I know that it sent not only me on a search for this, but other people as well. I actually, we were in, I don't remember if it was Green Bay or Appleton and we went to a grocery store and I happened to find it. I should have purchased more than one because it's really good. Uh, so I just thought I would give it, give it a mention in case your grocery store still happened to have it. I think it just comes out for Christmas and then goes away. But, you know, give, give this a look. It's really good. And with the gingerbread coffee, with the ginger, oh. It's good. All right, so I think that I have told you everything that's on my face aside from what is on my cheeks. I have the Cargo Blush in Tonga on my cheeks, and then this delightful glow right here. It's so pretty. This is a gift from my friend David. It's by Bobbi Brown, and it's the Highlight Powder in Naked Pink. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to... Oh, there. Maybe you can see it there. Um, so, so, so pretty. I really, I love that. So, um, all right. I will work on a 2015 favorites. I have my list going that I started at the beginning of the year and I just add things through it all the time. So it sounds like you guys do really want to see that. Sometimes I wonder if there's just too many of them out there, but based on the comments on the haul video, you absolutely want to see that. So I will work on that for certain. The next video you should see will probably be the try treats video that I filmed over the holidays with my nephews. And those are treats from Germany. So look forward to those couple of videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.